Am I supposed to do an intro? I guess. What's up world? My name is Trevor and this is, I guess my official like first video. And what better topic than to start talking about yoga, all right? Primarily of like what got me into this thing. Because I'm be honest, I don't see a lot of people who look like me doing this practice. And I'm glad that you are actually listening and watching this video because I'm answering a very, very important question. Uh, what got me into yoga? Let me say this. I love this thing, I teach it, and it's been seven years of a journey. But I also want to start off with like, I ain't grew up doing this. <laughs> Matter of fact, I never even really knew like yoga studios existed in America because they don't have those in my neighborhood. You know, like I'm from South Texas uh, and, and I'm from a predominantly minority side of town. So like, we wasn't doing yoga since yoga is not something that you see on the street corner. Like we don't have yoga studios all over the place. It's still very taboo in some cases. <laughs> all right, we didn't have yoga in high school. We didn't have yoga in the community. Wasn't nobody teaching yoga in the hood. Like this was something I had to pick up on my own. And the real reason I practice is because it's good for me. It took me a long time before I ever got introduced to yoga. And I didn't practice it until sophomore year of college. I think I was given the task of finding something active to do for 30 minutes. I didn't want to go uh, to, to the gym and try to lift weights because that just wasn't my thing. I wasn't a huge fan of it. And to be really honest, like I just didn't want to be in an environment where people could see me struggle. <sighs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a, it was an ego thing. I tried to go to the weight room, try to lift weights, and I was like, man, I'm not putting on a lot of weights. Uh, I'm not that strong. I don't want to necessarily be here because I'm too worried about what other people think about me. So I was like, let me try to take the easy route, right? I know I'm a little flexible because I ran hurdles back in the day. I could, I could stretch. I could do yoga, and I started doing yoga. You know, 30 minutes a day. And to give a little background, and some context, I was in college at Baylor University. You know, sick and bears. During this time, I was in a discipleship house. So I got the privilege to, to stay with my college pastor at the time and six other guys, yeah, it was like eight of us in the house. And we were just trying to figure out like how to live in a community where we can build and, and become better versions of ourselves. Yeah, you know, 5.30 a.m., I'm waking up in the morning, I'm, I'm on my mat having no clue what I'm doing. I'm just turning on this little app or I'm turning on a video, putting it on the TV and I'm just like, Shoot, let, <laughs> let's stretch. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know these poses. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know, like, I'm supposed to be doing something active for 30 minutes and I can stretch. And starting my day off like that, it, it led into to me really, like, enjoying the benefits of it. Like, how I started my day was kind of how I continued my day. I was like, oh, shit, you know, I'm chilling. I feel relaxed. I, I'm stretched out. My body feels better. My mind is a little clear. It became just part of my everyday routine. Part of that routine, especially living in that house, and I'm gonna talk about being in that discipleship house, you know, shout out to Spade 08, everybody that was in the crib, was that at 808 every morning, all the guys would come down, we'd meet in the living room and we'd pray. And that was just kind of like us building each other up spiritually, getting our day started. But I was starting my day even earlier with the practice of yoga, you know, and that was just for my body. But then I would go from the living room where I was practicing yoga to across the street at Armstrong Browning Library, where I would sit underneath these massive trees. And with the few lamps that they had, I would uh, sit at one of these little tables, you know, by myself, let the birds chirp, the sun not even up yet. And I would just journal, you know, I, I would just write about my feelings. I was trying to take care of myself in the best way I knew. And I was trying to do something for my body, for my mind and for my spirit to start my day off. And yoga became a huge part of that. As a matter of fact, it was hard for me to like <laughs> go and journal with a clear mind if I hadn't done yoga at the time. Yeah, I, I started practicing, you know, and 98% of my practice, even until this day, has been at home by myself. You know, and I don't really spend a lot of time in yoga studios. Nothing against yoga studios. I just didn't start my practice like that. And, and to be honest, like it's kind of expensive, <laughs> but yoga studios aren't necessarily in predominantly black areas or predominantly minority areas in America, especially not in the South. I mean, you don't see a lot of black yoga, yoga teachers. You don't see a lot of black yogis and you definitely don't see black owned yoga studios. It's, it's hard to feel like you welcomed and invited into a place where you're not necessarily seeing yourself represented. 
so I've continued to do a lot of my practice at home and the reason that I stuck with yoga was because I realized that the benefits that it gave or that it presented to me were something I couldn't necessarily find in other places. Only 30 minutes of a practice where I'm cued to move, stretch and breathe ended up turning into somewhere, somewhat of like a toolbox for me. I could go back to think of like, okay, during that practice, in that one pose, I was, I felt like, oh, this was good on my lower back. So I was able to take care of my body. And then I would think back, you know, oh, during Shavasana or whatever point in that practice where I was able to like really tap into my breath, I felt a lot more peace. I felt relaxed. And, and it was just correlating with everything that I wanted to do. It was aligning with the person that I wanted to be. And it was aligning with who I was at the time too. Just wanting more for myself. So I continued just practicing. And I'm going to be honest, like, that practice was not consistent. I have not been on my mat every day, Monday through Friday for seven years straight. But there was something about how yoga just kind of like lived in my body after that. Like I couldn't shake it, you know, even if it was only like three or four minutes of me just stretching, I would always come back to like, oh, yoga. Uh, or I would think back to like how yoga helped me mentally. My therapist was recommending that I practice yoga and implemented it back into my lifestyle. So I don't know, man, I fell deeper and deeper in love with this thing. It, it kind of stuck with me. It never gave me a reason to let it go. That that's the that's what I'm getting at. Yoga never gave me a reason to let it go. During my time at Baylor, and I want to highlight this. <sighs> Baylor is a Christian university. It, it is also in the heart of Texas in a very Southern Baptist conservative um, place. And with my faith, with my spiritual practice being strictly built on uh christianity and the word of the bible i had i had some like hesitancies with yoga on one hand i felt like i was <laughs> i felt like i was going against the church and everything i had learned and if i let go of yoga then i felt like i was i was denying myself something that was good for me yeah i just i just stuck with it you know um, i held on to it and it was my spiritual practice that really started to to develop with yoga and yoga gave me an opportunity to really just turn inward i spent a lot of time seeking answers from other people you know and, and there's nothing wrong with that i was seeking answers from mentors and, and 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 preachers pastors hell i was a pastor myself what really hurt was a lot of what i was being told contradicted with what i felt and it, it started to take a toll my thing is eventually i got to a point where yoga, it, it kind of triumphed, all right? It, it did not give me a reason to let it go. And like the big takeaway for me was like, I just had to experience yoga for myself. You can't necessarily take everybody's word for it. You have to experience things for yourself and it can't just be a one-time thing. If, if it feels good to you, hold on to it. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't align with who you want to be, uh, then let it go. <laughs> it's that easy. But if it does align with you and it settles well in your heart and your spirit, like, then lean into it. Like, you don't have to practice for an hour every day. You don't have to become a yoga teacher. You don't have to change your entire life. And the other big takeaway for me when I started yoga and how, when I implemented it into my life kind of as my routine is that it's your practice. It's for you. The practice is, is, is yours. It's your mat. It's your practice, it's your body, it's your time. So do with it what you may. Yeah, that's a, really a long answer, but <laughs> and this is why I started practicing. Um, I started practicing because yoga aligned with me physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It helped me get to where I wanted to go. It helped radically changed the way I moved about my life. And it also did subtle changes in the way I viewed myself and the world around me, how I interacted with people, my energy. It came to me and saved me in a way that I didn't even know I needed to be saved. It saved me from myself, that part. <laughs> Yoga helped save me from myself. And Continuously, it has always been there. It's always in my, my, my tool belt, right? Even before I was an instructor, I always knew I could come back to yoga. And um, anytime I got on my mat, there was an opportunity to, to find a bit of peace. 
I hope that, you know, this video inspires you to maybe try yoga. It doesn't have to be with me. You don't have to come to one of my classes or, or, or even do anything with me. Honestly, just try yoga, give it a shot, experience it for yourself. And more importantly, man, if it does align with you, right? If it feels good physically and or mentally, spiritually, emotionally, then lean into it. You might find something that you like. To be honest, not only did I find yoga to help me tune up my body, it helped me get more in tune with my body. And I'm forever grateful for that. I'll make some more videos eventually, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later. I don't really know where these buttons and stuff go, but if you wanna like, like, subscribe, share, all the other that people be saying on YouTube, please do. Um, and yeah, until next time, man. Love y'all. Peace.